Hi everybody and welcome back. It is Thursday, October 15th. We're only 42 days away from Turkey Day, Thanksgiving, and many of you are already on the hunt. Um, well, that said, let's jump right into NationalDayCalendar.com and see what's going on. October 15th brings us a day that's really important to us now. It is Global Hand Washing Day. Uh, it's a good time to remember all the steps you need to take. Wash your hands. It's not short. you got to take your time. Make sure you get all those germs off, especially in this COVID world in which we live today. Make sure those hands are washed really neat, really well. Use that soap. Use a towel. Now, guys that have been in the boys' restroom here at the middle school, make sure when you're done, you throw the paper towel in the garbage can, not on the floor and not on the walls. And you know who I'm talking to. All right. National Hand Washing Day. It's also National Shakeout Day, which sounds kind of sounds kind of fun at first, you know. Shake it off, shake it off, Taylor Swift. No, not that kind of shake it off. This is awareness of what to do in case of an earthquake. Not something that affects us here in East Troy a whole lot at all, but uh, know what to do in case of an earthquake. Get to the doorway. Get to get to a safe spot. Get under some things so if things fall, they don't fall on you and squish you like a bug. Uh, but it is. National Shakeout Day. Be aware of what to do in case of an earthquake. Oh, near and dear to my heart. Here we go. A little more food. It is National Cheese Curd Day. Now, we live in Wisconsin, land of the cheese, the dairy land state. We love our cheese. We love our curds. Uh, the question, the argument always comes up, who has the best cheese curds? Well, Cheese Curd Day was started a while back by who else but Culver's. Culver's pushing their cheese curds. Now, my question for you is, who makes the best cheese curds? Is it Culver's? I've been kind of partial to Cousins lately, although my last batch was a little greasy. Uh, Fork in the Road makes some great cheese curds. Um, Gus's has your standard cheese curds. So you tell me at the end, who has the best cheese curds on Wisconsin? Forward, our state motto. In 2007 started a new day called Maths Day. Maths Day is a day that they want you to stop doing regular math, uh, play some games with math, enjoy math. Again, that brain teaser from the from yesterday or two days ago. Uh, play some computer math games. And really what Math Days was, it started out as a national competition uh, where you'd go online and do a series of math games and compete with other people around the world at your age group. Oh, another one dear and near to my heart. I grew up with this one. It is National Grouch Day. Oscar the Grouch, he of Sesame Street, uh, was always the great comic relief to all the learning we did as we learned the, the letters and the numbers, and we had uh, Maria and Bob, and everyone was helping us out, and the count, Oscar would always jump in there. All right, National Oscar the Grouch Day. Enjoy this quick video clip. Ah, greetings. The Sesame Street number of the day is this beautiful number 17. In honor of this wonderful number 17, I, the Count, am going to get Oscar the Grouch to do something 17 times. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no, you're not. I'm not going to do anything 17 times to help you, Count. No. Oscar. You do not want to help show the world about number 17? No, I do not. So just scram, will you? <laughs> Did you hear that? First he said no. That was one no. Then he said no again. That makes two no's. Then he said no again. A third time, that makes one, two, three no's. <laughs> that gives me an idea. <clears throat> What? I just wanted to be sure you hadn't changed your mind. No, I didn't change my mind. I said no, and I meant no. The word is no. October 15th also brings us National White Cane Safety Day. Uh, for those who might not know, you can shout it out right now. What do you think a white cane is used for? Give you a second. White canes are usually significant for people who are blind. Uh, they use their canes uh, to tap ahead as they walk and find things as they move. 
And we need to be aware, you know, we live in that world where we look down at our cell phones all the time. We've got to make sure we're aware of the people around us uh, and if, if they need help as well. Get out of the way, you know, offer help if needed. But white cane day today. On this day in history, Hernan Cortez, one of my favorites, he was named the governor of Mexico. Cortez was a Spaniard who came over, uh, most known for conquering the Aztecs. They thought he looked like one of their gods, Quetzalcoatl. Uh, they kind of bowed down to him. Montezuma, the leader of the Aztecs, was giving him everything, thinking he was a god. Uh, Cortez robbed the Aztecs blind, killed the Aztecs, who were known for their sacrifices anyways. Uh, and he took over and became the leader of Mexico, which led the influx of Spaniards coming to the area that is today Mexico. 1860, another one of my favorite stories I used to tell, a young, young lady named Grace Bedell, she was an 11-year-old girl, she wrote the president, Abraham Lincoln, a letter saying, first off, that she'd like to know if he had any daughters. He didn't. He only had sons that she could play with if she ever met. And then she also told him that he, she thought he would look better if he had a beard, uh, to which Lincoln laughed and made jokes uh, about Covering more of his face probably would be a good idea. Uh, and that was the beginning of the famous Lincoln beard. 1917, a little exotic here. A, a spy by the name of Amata Hari. She was in World War II. She was known for being a dancer. And she was in France. And she was getting secrets and giving them to the Germans. Uh, once the French found out that she was a spy and giving their secrets away, they arrested her, took her to court, and then they executed her by a firing squad. Today, if you're, you know, if you're a male spy, we talked Benedict Arnold, a female spy, a lot of people call you Matahari. 1924, Calvin Coolidge, President of the United States, he declared that the Statue of Liberty is now a national monument. The Statue of Liberty, a national monument. Give us your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. Uh, people from, travel from all over to see the gift that France gave us, the Statue of Liberty. 1952, E.B. White wrote a very famous children's novel called Charlotte's Web. Um, some pig, I, don't, I remember that one, uh, the spider in the corner. Enjoy this video clip from the movie that was adapted from E.B. White's book, Charlotte's Web. Sorry, Fern, but the pig has to go. No, it's not fair. <laughs> Can't help being born small. Make lots of new friends here. Well, just be yourself. <laughs> Wait, Fern, come back! Pigs out! Pigs out! Pigs out! Run, pig! Be free! Yeah, pig, 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 pig! No! You're out! And you're back in. Hi there. You want to play? I don't play. I gnaw, I spy, I eat, I hide. <laughs> Me in a nutshell. I'm next! I'm next! I'm next, too! Poor kid. He's got no idea what's going to happen to him. What are you talking about? They're saving you for Christmas. Humans love pigs. They love pork. Oh, oh this is awkward, isn't it? Mm. It isn't fair! I want to live! And you will! Oh, spider! Get away! Salutations. My name is Charlotte. Charlotte A. Cavatica. Hi, I've never met a spider before. What are you doing? Making breakfast. Do you eat flies? No. I drink their blood. Uh, please don't hurt me. I'm making you a promise. I am going to save you. You're a spider. How are you going to stop them? With the right words, you can change the world. Templeton. I need words and lots of them. I'm a gonna get me some rat. Ah! Ah! The rat has been spotted. Oh, ah! find some words. The rat will never find words. Hey, look. Words. This Christmas, give you and your whole family the greatest gift of all. My babies. Something to believe in. Mr. Superman! How could this have happened? A miracle. In a time when we really don't see many miraculous things. 
Oh, I don't know what this is, but I love it! Charlotte's Web. The rat is happy. <laughs> Lyndon Baines Johnson, LBJ for short, uh, who became president after John F. Kennedy was assassinated, in 1966, he created the Department of Transportation, uh, used to make sure with the growing number of people traveling both by car and by air and by train, uh, just to keep a track on how everything was going, the infrastructure of the roads, if there was a plane crash, that little um, recorder that would go through, uh, just a way, again, to keep track of all the transportation statistics. And finally, a couple years ago, Alyssa Milano, an actress, she was in Who's the Boss way back when and in Charmed recently. Uh, she kind of jumped on board and got on the what's called the hashtag Me Too movement uh, to let women who were either abused or harassed uh, begin to tell their stories a little more publicly. Just a couple birthdays today. The first one we'll take a look at is actress and director Penny Marshall. Penny Marshall came to fame uh, in the 70s with her show Laverne and Shirley, which was set in a brewery in Milwaukee, and later on became a director of such big hits as Big, starring Tom Hanks, and A League of Their Own, also starring Tom Hanks as the manager. Uh, but she did many other movies as well. Penny Marshall passed away just a couple of years ago. And the other birthday we'll look at today is Emeril Lagasse. He is a chef, a TV chef, been on quite a few shows, known for his southern cooking and cuisines, uh, such as the gumbo, like I shared with you the other day. Very good with shellfish. Uh, happy birthday to them. And one last special birthday shout out to our very own Mrs. Dunham. Happy birthday. She's only about 29. Well, gang, that's it for today. Uh, you know the message. Please be kind. Take care of yourselves. Take care of everybody else. And we will see you on Friday. We've made it to the end of another week.